morning everyone i am dr vinod arora i'll be uh, briefly talking about uh, the updates on the genetic markers in nash i'll be briefly discussing about the prevalence of nash genetic factors in nash the multiple single nucleotide polymorphism the risk of snps with the nfl nash and scc their therapeutic implications role of precision medicine and briefly summarizing Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a, a global disease affecting approximately 30% of the worldwide population, of which 25% progress to have NASH. It is a severe form of the disease which involves inflammation and predisposes to hepatocellular carcinoma cirrhosis. And the spectrum of the disease involves uh, from cirrhosis to inflammation, leading to fibrosis and cirrhosis. It's a complex disease. involving multiple fact factor which includes both the environmental and the genetical uh, genetic modifiers the severity of nash and the progression of the fibrosis varies from person to person and genetic studies may help in identification of rapid progressors there is a familial clustering which is noted in uh, nefeld it is more prevalent in uh, probands relatives as compared to spouses 59% of the siblings and 78% of the parents with overweight uh, of over uh, and obese children with nefeld have underlying fatty liver twin studies have been uh, predict have been shown to predict stronger genetic basis for nefeld higher prevalence of nefeld is noted in monozygotic twins heritability of alt is been shown to 55% and that of fasting serum insulin has been shown to 61% the heritability of steatosis has been shown to be 0.5 to while that of fibrosis of 0.5 these are the risk factor which are Uh, as, uh, which have been shown as a risk factor for nefeld that is diabetes obesity dyslipidemia metabolic syndrome polycystic ovarian disease this basically shows that the patient who have uh, uh, the uh, uh, have a tendency of uh, the relatives of patient with nefeld without uh, advanced fibrosis or with or nefeld cirrhosis have a higher prevalence of advanced fibrosis this basically shows the multiple genes which have been uh implicated in the pathogenesis of the nash and the various uh, features which has been uh, seen as a spectrum of nash ranging from varying of the liver enzymes varying in the liver fat non alcoholic steatosis steatosis fibrosis inflammation nash and cirrhosis and these are the multiple genes which have been uh, implicated in the pathogenesis there is a multiple heterogeneity and pleiotropy of the genes which have been associated multiple phenotypes of the nefeld we'll be brief uh, discussing about these genes in detail later why genetic workup is important in nash it basically modulates the individual risk of nefeld development and the severity of prog progression the multiple genetic variants are associated with nefeld and nash are identified using genome wide association studies and the can candidate gene approaches the genetic risk score or polygenic risk score helps in predicting the individual risk and might contribute to early diagnosis and development and there is a varying prevalence of nash in the different ethnic groups the heritability estimate of nefeld ranges from 20 to 70% and multiple epidemiological familial aggregation and twin studies have shown heritable con component to nefeld the mapping uh, helps to identify the causal genes with potential therapeutic implication nucleotide genome sequences high throughput uh, genotypic array help in providing more robust and unbiased method of genetic mapping study that is uh, genome wide association studies and epigenetic epigenome wide association studies coming on to the pathophysiology and the multiple gene alteration that have been noted in nash and nefeld these are the four common genes which have been frequently altered in nash uh, first is on chromosome 2 uh, 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 that is gc uh, kr glucokinase regulator gene then there is transmembrane 6 uh, super family 2 then so mbot 7 gene and pnpla3 which is the most uh, commonly and strongly implicated in the pathogenesis of nash this basically shows the expression of the multiple gene types on the varic tissue uh, of which co most common is pnpla3 which is expressed in liver and kidneys and on the liver it is expressed on hepatocytes and stellate cells its basic function is lipid droplet remodeling modulation of the retinol uh, production and release uh, then glucokinase regulator gene which is expressed on the smooth muscle liver and stomach on liver it is expressed on the hepatocyte which helps in increasing the glycolytic flux and regulation of the de novo lipogenesis then uh, transmembrane 6 superfamily 2 uh, gene which is expressed in intestine and liver 
on the hepatocyte in the liver and helps in regulation of VLDL secretion. And the multiple genes that have been uh, associated will be dis uh, will I'll be discussing in brief about them uh, each and every one. These are the basically allele frequency and the odd ratio which have been uh, associated with varying genes with the uh, with the uh, Neffel Nash and hepatocellular carcinoma, of which PNPLA3, TM6, SF2, glucokinase regulator gene, and MBO TMC uh, transmembrane channel complex 4 have been in, uh, have been shown to have uh, predisposing to the risk of Neffel Nash and SCC and. Uh, Hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase 17 beta 13 gene, that is HST 17 beta 13, have been shown to be protective in the pathogenesis of the NASH. This uh, this was uh, this basically shows there's a causal relation between the uh, steatosis and the fibrosis. As the fi steatosis increases with the uh, modulation in this gene, there is an increase in the risk of fibrosis. This has been demonstrated using the Mendelian randomization. Coming on to the various genes which have been involved in the pathogenesis of the NASH using the GWAS studies. First is uh, PNPLA3, that is patatin like phospholipase domain containing protein 3. It has been also called calcium independent phospholipase 2 or adipinurin, which has uh, been localized to chromosome 22. It has been uh, highly localized to the liver, moderately in adipose tissue, brain, and kidney. It's been uh, regulated by carbohydrate regulator elemental binding protein on steroid regulator elemental binding protein uh, 1C. Uh, the uh, single nucleate polymorphism that has been implicated in PNPLA3 has been the replacement of isoleucine with methionine. This basically shows the pre uh, prevalence of Nefer, NASH and PNPLA3 genotype in the uh, different part of the world. In India, uh, it is basically IM pattern which is more common, MM pattern is less common and uh, the, uh, the, there is decrease in the II pattern. It, in India, it is the prevalence of IM pattern that is single allele polymorphism is noted. Its mechanism of action is basically it is a patatin domain containing lipid hydrolysis uh, uh, which has specificity for different substrate, including triacyl glycerol, phospholipid, retinol ester. The expression levels are higher in hepatocyte hepatic stellate cells, and it is high carbohydrate level which approculate PNPLA3 and mediates the transfer of polyunsaturated fatty acid from triglyceride to phospholipid in hepatocyte. Also has a retinal palmitate lipase activity and help in releasing the retinol from the hepatic stellate cell. PNPLA3 has been implicated in multiple wide spectrum of the chronic liver disease, namely Nefer, NASH, alcoholic liver disease, alcoholic hepatitis, cirrhosis, and hepatocellular carcinoma by predisposing to steatosis, liver injury, and fibrosis. These are the uh, risk, factor, risk factor which has been associated with multiple alleles. The odds ratio of having fat in the liver with GG allele versus CC allele is uh, uh, 4 versus GC allele is uh, 1.88. Uh, similarly, uh, the risk of histological injury is higher by odds ratio of 3.24 in GG allele versus G, uh, CC allele. And similarly, in GC allele versus CC allele, it is odds ratio is 2.14. Progressive enrichment in the uh, allele frequency of PNPLA3 has been shown to uh, increase the injury from simple steatosis to NASH to cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma in European population. What does uh, the substitution does to the enzymatic activity of PNPLA3? It basically reduces the uh, lipolysis and VLDL secretion in the uh, PNPLA3 uh, 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 I-148M hepatocyte. Increased PNPLA3 basically binds to CGI-58, uh, which is a coenzyme for the uh, hydrolysis of the uh, lipid. This and, uh, is ubiquinated and leads to apoptosis of the hepatocyte and also prevents from the other uh, lipases acting on the li lipid droplets. This basically shows uh, the pathophysiology with the PNPLA3 uh, polymorphism in the pathogenesis of the NASH. This uh, there's expression of the PNPLA3, which binds to the uh, 
सी जी आई फोर्टी एट फिफ्टी एट लीडिंग टू दी इनएक्टिवेशन ऑफ दी एडिपोज ट्राइक्लिस लाइपिस एनजाइम लीडिंग टू द डिक्रीज इन लाइपोलिसिस एंड इंक्रीज एकोमोलेशन ऑफ द लिपिड्स इन दैपेटोसाइट सिमिलरली देर इज अ डिक्रीज रिलीज ऑफ द रेटेनॉल विच प्रीडिस्पोज टू दैपेटिक स्टेलेट सेल टू माइक्रोफर्ज लीडिंग टू द इंक्रीज इन दॉलेजन फॉर्मेशन Coming on to the second gene, that is transmembrane six superfamily hum, uh, uh, two human gene. That is, it is required for the normal VLDL assembly. Uh, localized to chromosome 19, and carrier of the gene variant have this fatty liver because of reduced lipidation of the VLDL. This uh, uh, decrease in the VLDL concentration increases the uh, cellular triglyceride concentration and lipid droplet uh, concentration. This basically shows the odds ratio of development of uh, strep throat hepatitis and risk of SCC increases with the odds ratio of of, of 1.8 1.9 in the patient having this variant. The, uh, uh, this uh, enzyme, uh, this basically genes act by enrichment of triglyceride to apolipoprotein B100 in the pathway of the excretion of the VLDL from the hepatocytes. This polymorphism is basically replacement of the glutamic acid by the lysine at the position 167, which is a loss of function mutation, predisposing to higher triglyceride content and lower circulating lipoprotein. The carrier of this mutation are at higher risk of developing a liver disease. However, they are protected from uh, developing cardiovascular diseases. This is a misfolded protein. Which uh, has been shown to uh, accelerate the protein de uh, degradation, and the reduced protein level has been implicated in the pathogenesis of the multiple liver disease, namely Neffeld, alcoholic liver disease, and in the viral hepatitis, predisposing also to hepatocellular carcinoma. What is the risk associated with this mutation? The loss of function mutation impairs the secretion of the VLDL. Accumulation of the triacylglycerol uh, heightened sensitivity to liver damage. However, treatment usually is not a viable option. It acts by increasing the circulating lipoprotein, hence predisposing to risk of cardiovascular disease. C allele has been shown to have heightened cardiovascular risk, uh, risk, and the T allele has been shown to higher risk of Neffeld and Nash. So there are opposite effect on, on the circulating and the liver triglyceride respectively. These are the varying studies which have been shown uh, to. Uh, association between the this variant of, of uh, tm6 sf2 with the nephel these are uh, the multiple studies have shown that this variant has been associated with advanced fibrosis cirrhosis increased severity of hepatic stenosis a progressive increase in the risk of progressive nash and advanced fibrosis and uh, higher alt level lower uh, 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 triglyceride and cholesterol and lipoprotein c level the uh, the next thing that has been implicated is glucokinase regulatory protein it is a second robust nfl gene which has been localized to chromosome 2 has been implicated in the control of glucose metabolism it is a fructose 6 phosphate dependent inhibitor of glucokinase it increases hepatic glucose glucose metabolism increase in the production of malonin coenzyme a which promotes the de novo lipogenesis Uh, so uh, this snp g uh, in g2a allele is uh, associated with uh, increased lipid content uh, the allele frequency for african uh, american and extension increases with this snp uh, uh, variant the association of this variant has been associated with decrease in the fasting blood glucose and the decreased risk of type 2 diabetes it is the uh, proline to leucine substitution at position 4 46 and there is a reduced capability of response to fructose 6 uh, phosphate which leads to a constant increase in the activity of glucokinase which promotes this uh, increase in the synthesis of intrahepatic malonyl coa which promotes de novo lipogenesis blocks the oxidation of the fatty acid by inhibition of carnitine palmitoyl uh, transferase this basically shows uh, uh, the uh, pathogenesis which has been uh, shown with the variant this variant Uh, this is small box is the fructose 6 kinase and this uh, variant uh, there is a complex which inhibits the uh, between the glucose kinase regulatory protein fructose 6 phosphate and glucokinase when this mutation is there the, uh, 
there is a uh, uh, there is a constitutional activation of the uh, glucokinase because of the unchecked activity by the glucokinase protein regulator which promotes the intrahepatic glucose formation leading ultimately leading to the uh, uh, glucose 6 formation uh, uh, phosphate formation leading to uh, promotion of the de novo lipogenesis coming on to the next gene uh, which is mport 7 which is usually in complex for tm uh, tmc4 which is a transmembrane channel 4 it is a lysophosphatidyl enositol uh, acyl transferase which is a membrane anchored enzymes located on chromosome 19 has six uh, transmembrane domain and uh, is a component of land cycle which is involved in the phospholipid acyl chain remodeling of the membrane Uh, which involves varying sequential deacylation and reacylation reactions it basically uh, catalyzes the transfer of the pufa uh, that is eric uh, ericnod oil coenzyme uh, uh, co uh, a uh, to lysophosphatidyl enositol uh, leading to adequate level of desaturation in the cell membrane this polymorphism has been associated with reduced expression of the mbot7 leading to the altered Uh, phosphatidyl enositol plasma and hepatic composition the genetic variant has been uh, uh, associated with the increased risk of nephelt cirrhosis and alcoholic cirrhosis this uh, shows uh, the decreased expression of the uh, mbot predisposed to the increased chylomicron from the gut increased fatty acid uh, acid uh, uh, efflux from the adipose tissue via promoting the increased lipolysis there is Uh, increase decrease expression of the mbot on the hepatocyte and increase expression of the fatty acid transporter protein 1 which basically promotes increase in level of the free arachnoidic acid promoting the increase ex excretion of the eicosanoate promoting the cytokine and chemo uh, kind release uh, leading to steatohepatitis promoting extracellular matrix deposition and fibrosis by activating the hepatic stellate cells the other genes which have been implicated is 17 beta hydroxyl dehydrogenase type 13 gene uh, which is localized to chromosome 4 it has the exact function of the gene has not been characterized it is a uh, hepatic lipid uh, a droplet associated protein with retinol dehydrogenase activity converting retinol to retinoic acid and uh, the variant that protect against nephelt uh, usually uh, is uh, by conferring the loss of enzymatic activity the other genes i will be discussing briefly will be sam50 uh, sorting and assembly machinery component 50 which is a mitochondrial outer membrane protein help in the assembly of beta barrel protein on the outer membrane of mitochondria and the loss of this uh, is associated with impaired of fatty acid oxidation oxidation and causing the accumulation of lipid in the cell the other genes uh, multiple genes have been uh, implicated in the pathogenesis of the nash uh, which can be varied from the uh, variants in the lipid uh, metabolism to the immunity to the multiple uh, level of fibrosis i'll be briefly discussing about the names of the genes which have been implicated in the pathogenesis of the lipid metabolism uh, first is protein phosphatase one regulatory subunit 3 it helps in protecting against the hepatic fat accumulation the, uh, by shunting the excessive energy towards the glycogen synthesis this variant uh, has been associated with a decreased risk of progressive liver disease in individual with higher risk of nash then there is neurocan which is uh, responsible for the uh, addition and lipoprotein metabolism and the uh, snp has been associated with histologically validated steatosis a uh, lysophospholipase 1 has been um, this variant has been associated with histological uh, assessed globular inflammation and fibrosis ppar alpha and ppar gamma uh, there are multiple studies uh, which have been done however there is no cre uh, clear cut role of uh, these uh, genes in the regulation of the lipid metabolism however ppar alpha uh, this uh, valine to alanine substitution has been shown to have protective uh, uh, role against the development of obesity then ppar gamma uh, this uh, single nucleotide polymorphism has been associated with the progressive risk of uh, liver progressive uh, uh, increase risk of progressive liver disease in us cohort then lipin 1 that is phosphatase phosphatase uh, c2 uh, team polymorphism has been associated with the higher risk of nash and fibrosis in the pediatric patients the other genes that have been uh, implicated are phosphatidyl ethanol amine methyl transferase 
and the microsomal triglyceride transfer protein. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, this is basically associated, the GGT phenotype has been uh, seen to be associated with more severe liver disease and more atherogenic postprandial lipoprotein profile. Then there are variants which have been involved in the uh, regulation of the uh, oxidative stress of uh, which is uh, GCLC that is glutamate cysteine ligase catalytic subunit 129 CT polymorphism which has been associated with steto hepatitis. Then there is uncoupling protein 2 which has been uh, localized to the mitochondria and the single nucleotide polymorphism in UCP3 uh, promoter has been uh, shown to predispose to insulin resistance uh, decre uh, decrease in adiponectin level and presence of moderate to severe steatosis and NASH. Then superoxide dismutase 2, this amino acid substitution uh, uh, and the, uh, this polymorphism has been uh, predisposed uh, to have an increased susceptibility factor in NASH. NASH is usually uh, ha had a higher incidence in patient with TT allele of uh, this uh, SOD2 genotype. Then the variants which influence the inflammation via, which are toll like receptor 4 the, uh, the uh, two common uh, polymorphism that have been associated with T399I, D299G, which have been shown to have protection from hepatic fibrosis by uh, decreasing the TLR4 mediated inflammatory and fibrogenic signal. They lower the apoptotic threshold of the activated st uh, stellate cell. The polymorphism in TNF alpha uh, at position 308. Uh, th uh, 238 leads to constitution and induce inducible expression of TNF alpha have been implicated at the early stages of fatty liver disease from the transition to fatty liver disease to steatohepatitis and more uh, advanced stage of liver damage. Then there are variants involving the fibrogenesis which involves the copper like factor uh, 6. It is a early gene expressed in hepatic, activated hepatic stellate cells and this uh, a single nucleotide polymorphism has been associated with reduced fibro fibrogenesis. Uh, then the, uh, there is a uh, polymorphism in cyclin dependent kinase inhibitor which has been associated with development but not uh, with the progression of the liver disease. These are the major pathways which have been shown uh, to increase the susceptibility towards the uh, Neffeld and the gene loci. From the mitochondria, there is uh, uh, UCP2, uh, UCP3 and superoxide uh, dismutase 2 enzyme which have been involved in the oxidative stress and lipid catabolism. Then on the endoplasmic uh, reticulum, the, uh, promoting lipogenesis is glucokinase uh, uh, regulatory protein uh, lipin gene from the transfer that the microsomal triglyceride transfer protein on the uh, Golgi there is expression of TM6, SF2 and the ApoB which have been uh, implicated in the secre uh, secretion of the VLDL. Then there is uh, abnormality in the remodeling of the lipid droplets which can be secondary to the polymorphism uh, in the PNPLA3. Uh, their variants can be noted in the immune uh, cells or uh, the uh, uh, hepatic stellate cells, ultimately pro uh, predisposing to the increased incidence of Neffel, NASH and fibrosis. Uh, these are the genetic variants in a uh, brief which, uh, which have been influencing the in, uh, susceptibility to Neffel, uh, which have been identifying using the genome wide association studies. Uh, PNPLA3, this domain has been associated with the increased risk of uh, steatosis and increased risk of NASH, fibrosis, and inflammation. Then, uh, uh, fersenal diphosphate fersenal transferase, which has been shown to uh, increase the fibrosis. Then, the uh, SNP in collagen. Uh, and collagen 1, 3, A1 gene promote, uh, have effect on the NASH fibrosis and inflammation. Then uh, the other genes which are uh, being discussed, neurocan, uh, lysophospholipase like 1, glucokinase regulatory protein and protein phosphatase 1 which have been uh, uh, shown to increase the effect on st uh, promoting the effect on hepatic steatosis. What are the therapeutic implications? These gene scores can be help in uh, calculating the polygenic risk scores, which is the risk accumulation on the uh, based on the multiple single nucleotide polymorphism. Grask et al. sum the number of risk allele from 0 to 5 for three genes, namely PNPLA3, TM6, SF2, MPORT7. This uh, score has been uh, shown to significantly correlate with increase in the hepatic triglyceride level and elevated level of liver enzymes. There are multiple. We, uh, there are 
studies uh, done on uh, nifl however uh, uh, taking the gene based uh, uh, the uh, weight loss uh, uh, via uh, uh, the uh, exercise dietary modification or bariatric surgery taking this pnpla3 uh, association uh, the uh, study uh, these studies were found in the literature which showed with the weight reduction there is increase a reduction in the pnpla3 polymorphism uh, gene with the uh, in the liver fat with the bariatric surgery uh, 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 there is a decrease increase reduction in the liver fat which was noted with the pnpla3 associated uh, modification uh, via uh, diet, dietary modification exercise or bariatric surgery leading to weight reduction similarly with the uh, interaction of omega 3 fatty in, uh, fatty acid intake with pnpa3 has been uh, shown to have conflicting outcome there is either no effect or reduced uh, response to the treatment which has been shown in nefel uh, with the pnpla3 associated uh, single nucleotide polymorphism so nefel is a multimodality approach uh, which includes uh, um, genetics intestinal microbiota sex and reproductive status endocrine disorder assessment of the cardio metabolic activity physical activity which uh, which leads to the multiple heterogeneity in nash so there is a develop uh, need for development of the pre uh, precision medicine which is based on the genetics uh, to individualize and tailor the treatment as uh, on the basis of the genetic score and the individual coming on to the ilbs data uh, uh, uh this was uh, this was uh, presented in easel uh, by dr devraj uh, this uh, of which 310 uh, patient were included of which uh, 124 uh, patient was simple fatty liver disease nash was so noted in 120 patient and nephel related cirrhosis were uh, seen in 66 patient of which 80% of the population was male with a mean age of 42 and a bmi of 25 PNPLA3 uh, genotype which were noted was CC type in 121, CG in uh, 88 and GG in 32% uh, of the nephil patient. The prevalence of the homozygous allele was uh, more in the fatty, 26% uh, fat in the fatty liver, 25% in NASH and 56% in the CLT patient which was significant. However, there was no influence of the PNPLA3 uh, genotype on the severity of the NASH uh, histology like steatosis, ballooning, lobular inflammation. So, uh, we, uh, we need to identify uh, the association between the MEFL and the uh, multiple gene polymorphism that has been discussed. Uh, uh, there is a need for development of the non-invasive risk course which includes the plasma parameters, relevant clinical variable and the multiple genetic and the epigenetic changes which will provide a new therapeutic approach to the uh, management of NASH need for precision medicine approaches should be uh, done and utilizing the genetic inf information uh, to identify the interaction between the environment and the genes and we need to identify the interaction between the nephil and the cardiovascular diseases so to summarize nephil is, is a complex disease uh, which uh, secondary to the disruption of the physiological mechanism that regulate the molecular hemostasis of lip lipoprotein complexes which include formation turnover and the secretion uh, the progression of the nephil is by a small uh, set of uh, genes displaying reproducible consistent sign association with the histological trait. The genetic uh, gene signature uh, can help in identifying from the uh, starting point to address the current knowledge gap on the management of the nephil pro progression. And nomogram may be prepared which may help in incorporating the genetic and the clinical risk factor to identify NASH. There is a need for development of the genetic uh, uh, risk score which help in this uh, uh, identification and screening of the large population providing the lifestyle modification advice to the patient with genetically predisposed and defining the impact of liver related mo uh, mortality and cancer development in these patients.